It is Wednesday, my dudes. And you know what that means? That's right. It's time for the, for another episode of Planet Coaster. Uh, the final episode of 2017, in fact. And a very Christmassy special. And they're probably not people are going to watch it because most people are probably doing things with their families. But hey, people like me, who I <laughs> would still be spending time on the internet this, this holiday season, or I guess for my non-Christian viewers, we have this to... um to fill your day. I mean, it's not a substitute for Christmas with your family, I'll give you that, but I'm gonna try my, my, my darnest, my damn, my, my, I, I can't say damn, this is a, this is a PC monetizable channel, please, let's not, uh, let's stick, 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 stick to our Christian values, much like, much like Christmas. So what are we doing in this episode that has now been running for almost a full minute, with no real introduction? Well, as the title and thumbnail might have provided some sort of insight, this is an episode which is an another short episode in which we're going to be building a bridge. I was quite proud of how this bridge came out, and I kind of wanted to cover its construction, at least in somewhat detail. Maybe not, you know, detail the actual process verbally, but I just wanted to show off the actual building process behind it. I showed some screenshots to some of my friends, and they were all like, oh, that's a really cool bridge. How did you make that? So I kind of wanted to show it being built, but... Like, so if, like, this episode's going to need to be like 10 minutes long because it's just going to show the bridge. But if I incorporated the bridge into another episode, I feel like it would either overshadow everything or eat up too much time or would just make the pacing of the episode would be off. I like each episode to have... It, it might not feel this way, but I do like to try and make each episode have some sort of focus to it, be it building a specific roller coaster or building the tower or building a general area. Whereas this bridge obviously isn't actually part of any area and because I want to show it kind of being built in a fairly sort of full <laughs> uh, format there wasn't really any way of showing showcasing that unless it was in its own video if that makes sense this is another short video uh, much like the last episode where again i wanted to show the whole construction of the tower and by that point it was kind of too short to kind of be its own episode but too long to be incorporated into something else so it ended up being kind of like a, a shorter episode and the same thing with this this bridge there's also another reason for this episode being shorter and that is that uh in three hours time i'm driving home and obviously i'm not taking my pc with me and so i need to have i, I thought oh my gosh i've not gotten i've not got a planet coaster episode out for next wednesday and obviously i'm not taking a, my laptop for those that don't know has like it's terrible my phone is more powerful than my laptop it's like two gigabytes of ram an intel atom it's got a 32 gigabyte hard drive which i didn't know you could even get on on lap, on windows laptops but there you go so i'm like well let's just quickly throw this uh, episode together. So I had to find all the footage, edit the footage together, then I'm now recording this commentary. It'll probably take about an hour and a half to render, then we need to upload it unlisted, make the thumbnail. So I needed to have something that I could do fairly quickly before I before I set off. Um, in fact, right now, whilst I'm recording all this, I'm rendering the, the 2017 KSP montage, which is coming this Saturday. But that was a that's been been in the works for a while actually. I've been planning that one for a long time. I've been I've been spending most of the year trying to sort of look at listening to songs that I could use in the final montage and this song I found probably a few months ago and I think I want to say September I heard it and as soon as I heard it I'm like this is the song this is the song that's going to be the montage song so I don't monetize my end of year montages well I've only made three the first one I couldn't monetize because it used copyrighted music the second one was like a mashup so because it was like a big remix of lots of different songs YouTube's like copyright claim bots couldn't like distinguish any of the any of the, like the the single songs so it ended up being not monetizable i didn't want a chance <laughs> monetizing it and then getting caught and it's a similar sort of thing for this this is another mashup of fairly upbeat songs fairly gets you in the mood to party i don't know <laughs> um, but again it doesn't get picked up by youtube's monetization bots but just because i don't want to risk it i'm not going to um I'm not going to monetize it. And also because it's like it's not like a dead mouse mash or anything. It's just some small time. I guess I th maybe he's not. Maybe he's not small time. I mean, last year's was Madeon, who's a fairly household name at this point almost. So I, I kind of don't want to... I feel like it would be a bit disingenuous to be like claiming monetization on a video which uses a song made by someone else who isn't seeing any of the profit either. I don't really know. But it's not... I don't know. I don't, how did I even get into this topic? It's such a random topic, particularly for a Planet Coaster video. I mean, maybe I should talk about the actual video itself. Wouldn't that be a, an exciting change? Um, well, as you can see, the bridge is finished now, but I set out, I wanted to build a somewhat unique bridge. And people liked the bridge I built in Mirror Lake. That was kind of a sort of more traditional, I guess I don't, I don't really like, I, I how can I 
describe this. I don't really know what my thought process was. I just quite, I like bridges to look cool. I, I quite like designing bridges in this game. So last time it was kind of a sort of medieval, like old style bridge, like brickwork and things. And this time I wanted to go for something a bit more modern. So I was a bit torn about what to base it on at first. I was thinking maybe something like a London bridge. And if, if anyone's familiar with the London, with the London TV show, with the British TV show, The Apprentice, not the, uh, the American Donald Trump one but the British one. In the intro scene, there's a shot of them all walking in front of uh, St. Paul's Cathedral, and it's and that bridge is called London Bridge. Uh, it's not the big drawbridge that everyone is familiar with, you know, the big Lego set one. Not that one. Why? I love how I picked the Lego set of all the ways I could differentiate it, but it's the really, you know, the really famous bridge in London. Think of a bridge in London, that's probably the bridge you're thinking of, you know, the one that opens up two towers, that's called Tower Bridge. Anyway, that's not called London Bridge. London Bridge is something else. I thought about basing it on that one, but in the end, I kind of went for this sort of sleek suspension bridge. So I guess it's most similar to the big uh, Eiffel Bridge in France. You know, the really tall white viaduct. I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's made by Eiffel, who... I don't know if you guys know this, but Eiffel have, are, are also quite well known because they built this big brown pylon in Paris. Um, it's pretty famous. Um, I think it's called the... Uh, oh, God, it's the Tower of Eiffel? No, is it... I feel like it might be the Eiffel Tower. You'll, I, I, don't quote me on that, though. Don't quote me on that. But yes, uh, and I'm pretty sure this bridge was made by Eiffel as well. I remember seeing a documentary when I was 10 and um, about it, and uh, I'm vaguely remembering that it had Eiffel in it. I'm not going to fact-check this. I'm just going to... This is now a uh, canon in, in, in the alternate reality of my theme park. Uh, in this world, that bridge was built by Eiffel. So even if it wasn't in real life, I'm just telling you about the law of this theme. This is a really... Let's just move away from this topic. But no, I was quite proud with how this bridge came out in the end. So the hardest challenge, the biggest challenge, as you can imagine, I'm sure, was building the cables. So they're actually uh, wooden pieces, I think. I can't remember which ones I went with in the end. I think a geometric shape piece would probably, probably would have been more appropriate on in hindsight. But this was still, I was quite proud with how the cables turned out. It was a little bit finicky, particularly because the uh, the kind of towers aren't traditional suspension bridge towers in the sense like the Golden Gate Bridge or the Humber Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge, where it's just kind of two like parallel pillars if that makes sense they, it's more of a modern diamond shape and that the the two towers converge into each other to make a single point at the top which actually made things quite difficult in terms of making the cables particularly get making the cables symmetrical on both sides i kind of had to mirror it across and then twist it about a bit and the way axes work in like this game in terms of the rotate tool it can be a bit weird and it was a bit it was a bit tricky but once you've got kind of one half of the bridge built you can then clone it across all four uh, so, so I guess one quarter, you know, each half of each kind of tower and then clone the whole tower across. And yeah, and that was the process. And then I kind of went for a more sort of fairly simplistic, concrete, kind of brutalist almost design for the actual ramps up to it. Uh, just drain the lake so we can finish so sort of the detailing, get the uh, the bed of the lake as well painted to be a bit more natural in terms of terrain. And then I just thought I'd build a similar bridge. Well, I build the same bridge on the other side for the other crossing. It's not as big of a gap this time. So I thought I'd just go for the, just, just the one suspension bridge tower. So you can see there, I just kind of duplicated it, deleted all the necessary piece, pieces and then sort of spliced it all back together and then just sunk it down into the ground. This is actually a bit lower uh, in case the, the, the more astute viewers might have noticed that this is a lower, lower bridge. Um, but... I don't really, I don't know why this is an important fact I felt was worth mentioning, but there you go. You can see, uh, you probably saw me trying to fight with the pathing tool a lot in this game. I've said before, and I'll say it again, that this path, the path system in this game is awful. I mean, it's better than Rollercoaster Tycoon 3s, I guess, because you actually have some, you can actually have a bit of control over your paths. But, you know, we came through in the end, but yeah, I had to kind of build those big sort of wings and then sort of force the path to join onto it. It was a bit finicky. I did have to cut a lot of footage out to, um, make it not completely cringy to watch me try and struggle but but there we go like i said this was a shorter episode less than 10 minutes a record so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you enjoy christmas when <laughs> in a few days time this episode is going to be outdated fast isn't it but whatever i hope you enjoy the kerbal video on saturday and on screen is the full playlist to this uh, the construction of this theme park so if the next episode is out which it probably won't be but if it is that's in the playlist as well and i hope you enjoyed this video leave any suggestions or just what you thought down below and uh, have a happy Christmas, as I said, and a good Merry New Year. That's the wrong way around, isn't it?